Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nina from Bad Cat Family. I am a zookeeper. I also run an online cat boutique called badcatshop.com where I sell things like harnesses, backpacks, and cool stuff for people that are obsessed with cats. And I also have this YouTube channel where I make videos that take cat care to the next level. Today we're going to be, hi. And today we're gonna to talk about how to train your cat to let you put a harness on them. Just like this. Done. So there are two overall methods that you could go with to try to train your cat to wear a harness. The first method is with treats and reinforcing them with their favorite treats. Or if your cat really prefers getting pet, then maybe some pet scratches and affection is going to be the best reward for them to get their harness on. Today I'm going to show you both ways so you can see what will work better for your cat at home. Let's get started. So today I'm going to be using what's known as a step in harness. So it's just this kind of T section that they would step both of their legs into and then there would only be one buckle up by their shoulder blades that you would have to clip. So I like this kind because it, you're not gonna be messing with several buckles if they're struggling or squirming. You just step in and then immediately close it and then you're good to go and walk. Um, this is also where the leash attaches. So it's pretty, it's pretty easy. You won't have to be sliding anything over their head or their ears or anything like that. Um, so first, what you're going to want to do is make sure that this is going to fit your cat before you even start trying to get it on them. Because if it ends up being too tight and you're trying to close it for the first time, they're going to have a really bad experience and this is no longer going to be your friend. So before you adjust your harness and possibly even before you buy a harness, just to make sure it can be adjusted to the right size, you're going to want to measure your cat. So either grab a tape measure. Um, if you have one or a piece of string and then mark on the string and then measure it with like a ruler or something but you're gonna want to measure around their neck chest area and then their torso is this okay can I touch you <laughs> so the first method of training your cat to put the harness on is going to be the method by using treats yeah I know you like them not yet. <laughs> so what I recommend is to orient the harness the way that it should be. Again, this is a step in harness, so it's gonna be really easy for them to kind of get into it on their own. Make sure that the shorter part that you've adjusted to be a little, sh the shorter measurement is gonna be in the front and the longer measurement is gonna be in the back. <laughs> You're simply gonna walk your cat forward until their feet step into the harness. You can kind of direct their feet. Good, perfect. And then you lift it, clip it, and reward them. Just one clip to undo. So while Noah was showing that as an example of how he gets into the harness using treats, he has done this a few times so he is a little bit smoother and practiced at it. So when you're practicing with your cat, don't get frustrated if they're not as keen as something being pulled up around them. Just take it in steps. You might spend the first three days just having them walk towards it and eventually then to start stepping into those holes. It may not be for another week of daily practice that you can maybe start messing with lifting the harness up a little bit around their legs. So it might take a few weeks, but doing it the right way is really going to be worth it for your cat to feel comfortable. Okay, so the second method of trying to get your cat comfortable with wearing a harness, pets and affection, 
and if your cat is very tactile and loves being touched you may be able to just if they're laying down just kind of give them pets and rubs and slowly and as they're drifting off to la la land loving the pets slipping you know one one of their legs through and continuing to pet them slip the other leg through um and before they know it they're harnessed in and um and just make that a very brief experience for them until they realize okay yep this is on me this is weird and then just immediately take it off and then keep petting them so it's all a good experience and they get used to it and wear it longer and longer so thank you guys for joining me today all about putting a cat harness on your cat. I hope one of these tactics works well for your cat at home. And if it doesn't, I hope you don't get too scratched up trying to get a harness on them. It shouldn't get to that level. Just take it nice and slow and it won't be stressful, hopefully for either of you. This should be fun. It's totally optional to harness train your cat and take them for a walk. So if it's optional, it should definitely also be fun. Again, my name is Nina. If you're interested in the harness that you saw because you like particular style of step-in harness, I do sell that on my website, badcatshop.com. And if you enjoyed this video, if you got some value out of it, and especially if you want to thank my two little cat helpers for their participation in filming this video for you guys, give this video a thumbs up. That helps us buy more kitty treats and also helps me make more cat-centric videos because I'm obsessed with talking about cats with you guys and the thumbs up lets me know that you want to see more cat videos. If you are generally interested in more cat content, subscribe to the channel. That's all we talk about on here. Thanks so much and have a great day.